welcome back to the Plugin Boutique. My name is Mark Adamo, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the Sugarbytes Wow Filter. We're going to have a look at the filtering, how to assign the modulations, and the exquisite vowel mode. Here we go, we got 10 different filter types ranging from high pass, band pass, low pass, comb filter, band reject, and two interesting ones here, band crusher and low pass filter crusher, which are like a combination of low pass filter and bit crusher all together. And as you can see at the moment, we've got the band crusher selected. We're running a mix here. There's a dry sound and there's the wet sound. We've also got some overdrive put in here. So there's the clean sound of the filter. And there's the resonance. You can really pile in the overdrive here. Another thing you have here is a master output which can take the filter stage from normal 100% right up to 200%. So it can give it a bit of a boost. So when you're using some of the skinnier filters like the bandpass filters and stuff, which usually have a lower output, you can crank it up to match, match your regular audio material. Okay, one of the other things we're looking at here is the envelope follower. This is one of the modulators here that we've got going here. We've got the step sequencer. So let's switch that off and dial in some envelope follower. There you go. There's some of that wow factor we were talking about. And uh, here you go, you've got the game here. So it listens to the audio file. And you can see it's graphically represented in the window there. And you can dial in a part of the frequency range for it to pay attention to, or just listen to the whole spectrum. And you get your attack, release controls here to shape the envelope. Okay, let's dial up another sound. Reset that stuff, you can use that. And let's try comb filter. some resonance okay let's try a little bit of step sequencer as you can see here you have a eight stage step sequencer and you can smooth it out and you can adjust the tempo here And you can make it uh, follow a direction. Forwards, backwards, back to front, front to back, ping pong, all that kind of stuff, and random, which we had it on before. So I can just set a few nice harmonic values here, and it will randomly move between them. And come back here, adjust the depth. What else we got then? Let's try like some of the standards. Here's the low pass 24. Let's clean that up a bit. Take that resonance off. Let's put the mix on 100% wet. Okay, let's kill that modulator there. Try the high pass. Band pass. Okay, let's try some uh, synthy kind of stuff. Oh, let's put like uh, some LFO. 
UFO on here. Let's have a look at the UFO here. Right. What we've got here, we've got some funny shit going on because we've got it set to the audio trigger. Let's put it on song position and this will sync it to the track. I think it's a modulation there. And you've got five types of other fire there from sine wave, pulse, saw, triangle, and random. And uh, what we'll do here is we're going to try out the uh, vowel mode. As you can see here, you have two vowels. You've got a number of different shapes here to choose from for the vocalization. You can find all kinds of interesting stuff. And you can mix back some of the original signal. Gigabytes wow filter for you. Does it have the wow factor? I think it may have a little bit. So I'd say uh, download the demo, check it out yourself, and uh, have fun.